and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and we're going to check out the Line 6 FM4 today. Yes, it's the four-button series by Line 6. Um, and mm. uh, we've done a bunch of other videos. Uh, which one Which one should we the put The distortion there? one. Check off for 50 bucks. Yeah! Um, um, yeah, so yeah, we've got the FM4, which is a filter modular. Filter one. Modular. Uh, Mod not modular. Modular. Filter uh, modular. This comes in the sexy 70s uh, issue standard metallic purple. Now, um, we're okay. going... <laughs> Alrighty then. It says that uh, in the manual. We're going into the creme brulee from a cherry tone today through a single twirl in the green back. Like the Lute MTP440. Hello, Lute people. And we've got a cab loader in the Lute 2 for some quad box action from Angle. And that's going directly into the computer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we can watch the video on a cab loader. Oh. So that's our setup. Yes. And... Do you want to start? Should I start? Should okay, well, um, <coughs> I've got this, which is my iPad, which has the, oh, yeah. what Line 6 calls the Pilot's Handbook. Yes. So it's just a manual, basically, but that you can download. Uh, just type in Line 6 FM4 manual and Dashi blows. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with the first one, which is, okay, so I should mention this for people that don't know. So Line 6, it was sort of a, a series they did a little while ago. I think some of them are still available. Um, George Tripps from uh, Now We're Huge and Before Then We're Huge was heavily involved in these. Um, you basically have this dial here, which has got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different sounds. And then these change to depending on what the sound is. So uh, it tells you roughly what it is, sort of frequency, the cue, the speed, the mode, the mix, but then it also has a start vowel and the synth pitch and a stop vowel and all so they, you know they change depending on yeah which what what algorithm you're on so uh let's just start with the clean sound which mm. is suchly which is suchly <laughs> So now this will go back to whatever the preset was, but let's just go to this and go to wherever that was set just then. So this is the Tron Down, mm. which is what Tron the, Down! Tron, Tron Down! <laughs> so it's basically env env envelope follower. I can't read today. Well, it's a Mutron, isn't it? It says envelope, part envelope follower, part mm -hmm. auto wire. Part triggered filter and it's all wacky, and your filter modeler gives you the gives it to you both coming and going, mm, up and down. Well, up and down. So yes, yeah, so, uh, I mean most envelope filters usually use the up setting where yeah. go, the frequency goes up. This is the frequency goes down. So maybe we can set that a bit more sensitive. So like we said, these do change depending on the algorithm. Okay. So frequency determines the uh, how far apart the high and low points of the filter will, will be set to. Okay. Q is sets the width of the filter. Speed is the selects the high or low frequencies for the focus of the filter effect. Okay. And mode uh, selects the type of filter: low pass, band pass, or high pass. So this is the, the, the down one where it kind of, you start on a, it, it instead of oh. going wah, it goes ow, ow. Yes. It's sort of the opposite of what you Well, mix should be up more, shouldn't it, for that? So you hear more of the... All right, let's go to up. Up is much more fun. So that's more standard envelope filter, and it's based, if you look at the picture, and again, I said it last time, I'm not 100% sure how to get away with it, mm. but there's actually a picture of a Mutron there. Probably can't see it, but there, there are pictures of the actual... Whoa! Well, 
Well, that's the, that's you know my funky self there. <laughs> It's more like a filter now, like an actual static filter. Oh, and, uh, we've got the uh, 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 oh, yeah. we've got a, uh, an expression pedal plugged in. Just an El Cheapo expression pedal. What does that do? Changes the cue or something like that, or or can you set? I think you can set them up. I never used the expression pedal with it, so not sure. It doesn't say on here. I think it says it maybe at the start. Doesn't matter. Let's not actually. You know, let's not worry about the expression pedal. Let's go without the expression pedal. Uh, okay, next one, Seeker. Inspired by the Zvex Sequa. Ah. Step filter. Yep. Um, so. On this one, the frequency sets the range of the different patterns uh, selected. Uh, Q sets the width of the filters, speeds as on the original controls the rate, the time between cycles through the filters. And the mode sets the number of filter steps. Uh, choose between 4, 6 or 8, or the seeker allows you choice between nine to s 2 to 9 steps. Uh -huh. Nice sort of with bit of delay or something. Actually, let's do some delay. In the, it's in the loop. I'll show you him. Sort of a patty kind of sound. Yeah. Which is, by the way, that's the uh, Pictronics Ecolution Ultra Pro Two. Okay, now the next one, Obiwa. Obiwa. Oberheim can, voltage can control ah. filter. Now the mode uh, gives you the option to option to affect the high, low, or middle frequencies of your tone. The frequency sets the area of frequency where the filter will change the tone, and Q sets the width of the filter. Speed sets the rate of the filter changes. Sounds kind of the same as the secret one. <laughs> Again, sort of paddy sort of sound, like you know, like yeah. in a recording in the background, you just do a. <laughs> Same sort of thing. Okay, next. Uh, voice box. Ooh. Inspired by vocoders and that kind of thing. Let me guess. Start vowel and, and stop vowel. Sorry, yeah, you can go. Uh, frequency uh, knob uh, picks the start vowel, like I said. Q uh, picks the stop vowel. Mode chooses between automatic and pedal modes. Ah. I guess that's where you use your pedal. Well, that's where we should try it. 
and speed is the speed control. Okay. Wow. Oi, 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 oi. Try it. Try the expression. Expression. So it's just, yeah, an, an M Audio El Cheapo expression pedal. I might put a picture of it up. Better without it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a fixed wire kind of effect almost at some points next vitron vitron voice box meets mutron 3 uh, frequency controls the start of the vowel q controls the stop um stop vowel speed to how long it ta takes to speak from one vowel to the other Ooh. and mode chooses between the two modes up or up and return ha ah. <laughs> Thing. Throbber. Now nah, here we go. Nice. That's, it's throbbing. <laughs> sure. Inspired by the Electrics Filter Factory. Now, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, so this is kind of fun. Oh, the rack. The those kind of coloured, different coloured ra yeah. racks. Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, and um, apparently they have like super cool mini functionality. Like you can mi mini anything on them. Oh. Everything and anything. Um, so, uh, do 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 do. Throbber, throbber, throbber. Hmm. It throbs. It throbs. Control Q sets the amount of emphasis on hurrying or to howling. And the frequency set targets selects se frequency targets a specific frequency range for the filter. And Q is the width of the filter speed sets a rate of the LFO. And mode is between four different wave shapes ramp up, ramp down, triangle, or square. Ah. needs this requires a baritone guitar does it now yeah. yeah of course it does <laughs> spaghetti western space swing yeah so there's an eastwood uh side jack deluxe baritone yep. uh, Thank you. 
reminds me of a song. Is that from Tarantino? Is that... Don't know, but it reminds me of a song. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, like an E, well, it's not an E minor, it's a B minor. So E minor to A to A minor thing. It was like that, um, that groove you're playing with recording the um, thing the other day. Oh, no, no, that's that's just, that's A minor to E major. But it's a similar sort of thing, yeah, but no, but... It... Anyway, it reminds me of something. That's a throbber. Let's keep going. Mm, throb time. What's next? Uh, spin, spin cycle. cycle. <laughs> Similar sort of thing? Inspired by Craig Anderson's Wah Andy Wah. Ah, good on Craig. Good on you, Craig Dog. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> on this model mode, uh, adjust between peak follower. Uh, can be used to make the speed of this effect sensitive to your plane volume. Frequency controls the range of filter emphasis 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 uh, emphasis to the wah tone and Q controls the width of the filter speed sets the speed at which the wah effect sweeps mode is the amount of volume sensitivity for the speed of the effect do you like that's just that like start of a song and then you come in <laughs> wow, maybe not like that. Oh, is it peak dynamic to speed? It's great! playing it the whole time now because I can't think of what the song is. It sounds, it sounds so familiar. <laughs> Not copyright infringement because I don't know what it is. All right. It's fun. Spin cycle. Then we're going to Comet, Comet Trail. So Ooh. Ooh. Get this, um, get the uh, manual, yeah, because they're worth reading. I think, I think we, we've, we've mentioned this before, yes. but you go through it and it's almost like they're kind of getting, I don't know, maybe they're having drinks while they're writing it. <laughs> <laughs> it gets more and more interesting the further you get into it. <clears throat> we found ourselves one afternoon surrounded by 10 empty cans of dew and sounds from another world. We rushed from the office shouting to anyone who would listen, dude, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is in the manual. So anyway, um, frequency controls the range of the filters. Q controls the width of the filters. Speed is here we go. Uh, speed is the rate of the filter movement. Mode is the gain of the whole shebang. Again, you turn the delay on. So 
So that's not dynamic, like big dynamic. Oh, that's got like a flangery kind of thing in it. It's got that sort of metallic flanger yeah. thing in it. Cool. If sound was a beverage, that would be Japanese bubble tea. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, slow thought. filter. Let me guess. Okay. Do that without moving your mouth. It's hard. Sorry, you go. This one just has a picture of a turtle. Of course so, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, slow, turtle slow. There yeah. You go. And it says, it's swell. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get a choice of having your tone sweep uh, from dark to bright on up mode or da d bright to dark in down mode. Q lets you further shape the tone, creating a sharp boost at the point of the higher end roll off. Uh, frequency is, sets the frequency where it begins to. Sh the tone shaping roll off. Q sets the width of the filter. Speed is the speed of the filter sweep and mode. It goes between up or down. And can you set it to? Is it slower? It's fast. That's very cool, I like that. And you got the other way too, so you can go up that. But that's less cool, that's, inter that's interesting. Yeah. Ambient sort of textures and stuff. That Total stuff is killer. Paddy synth, well then. Okay, next. Uh, Oct synth. Oct synth. I don't think we need to do more. <laughs> yeah. Show up and play behind the bridge. This is like soundtrack stuff, like it, something sinister is about to happen.
All right. Cool. Okay, next. Synth Omatic. Omatic, inspired by a collection of vintage analog synths. Oh, hang on. I've got to go. Um, frequency is a frequency of the filter depend, depend, determines, I can't read it, determines how bright your sound will be. Q sets the filter width, and uh, speed is one of eight synth waveforms. Mode controls the pitch of the synth sound. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Well, this is like synth bass. I think it can't handle some of the really low notes. So got to play higher up. Excuse me. Well, it's not polyphonic, I don't think. That's cool. That's like super sub harmonics there. It's super sound design stuff. Yeah. So it <laughs> goes up two octaves and down three octaves. Yeah. <laughs> This is like, you know, if you if you set some sort of a if you do some sort of an arpeggio over it, that's almost modular of a world. There's a weird harmony in there now. Yeah. Ooh. So it's sort of synth based stuff. Mm. More guitar, just on a baritone, I don't think you can quite handle the low B. Sharp. Sort of G, G, sh, G to A, you can handle on the normal guitar. Cool. I All like right. that. Next. Attack synth. Attack synth. Sorry, there you go. Uh, da, 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 attack synth. It's the name of my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a dog. <laughs> um, it's inspired by an original X911. Oh, the old X911. Mm. Oh, the Cork X911. Ah, oh, the Cork, of course. Which we all know was um, uh, used by Eric Dover. Oh, Ricky. What? <laughs> Ricky, Eric Dover. Ricky, I call him Ricky. Oh. Okay. Ricky does. Still owes me 10 bucks. Yeah. Now, frequency <laughs> controls the stop frequency of the filter. Q selects between square pulse, pulse width modulation and ramp for the synth waveform. Mm. Speed controls the attack. Mode selects the pitch of the two octave range. Okay. I forgot already. Cool. Oh, 
What was that song that, um, riding my pony? No, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, he's ah. getting grumpy there. Wow. It's very low. Is that to be close to the brown note? <laughs> I think it fell off the pony there for a second. Yeah. Let's this, this mess with oh, stuff. It can't it can't handle going that low, but I mean baritone. All you got to think that if you if you imagine the B, the top string away, the, the or bottom string really, the low string, it's just that's just an E. So that's like a a seven string without a seven string mm. without the first string. Bless me. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird because you hear the acoustic note of the electric guitar and it's a very different note to what you hear coming out of there. You've got to pick a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> the duck's dying. That's a duck flying, and the plane comes by and sucks it into the. <laughs> the man <laughs> <the man-hitters>. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> next. Oh uh, yeah. Synth string. Synth string based on. That sounds cool. Based on Roland GR seven hundred guitar synth. Ah. Now. Excuse me. Uh, the frequency control is a low pass filter tone control. The Q is the attack time. Speed is the speed of vibrato E. Pulse width modulation. And the mode controls the pitch of the effect over the two octave range. Ah. What's it? It was the right pitch before, and then you changed it. Tune to what I'm playing, but that's cool. It's like, yeah. it sounds like an old, like, like a Hammond organ or something. But, Slightly broken, but yeah, a bit crap. <laughs> no, just is it? Is it? Pulse width. General modulator. Well, that's more like just a normal, like a slow attack synthy kind of sound. Can't handle that. Can almost handle an E. So the G seems to be the magic note. Safe you can go as low as G. Somewhat. But it's the same with a lot of octaves and stuff. They don't work on the lowest notes. You've got to go up an octave. 
I'm yeah, yeah, for yeah. it to work. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's keep going. The Grella, Grella. Egg, which is a Roland GR700, which we were on, yeah. me- meets Mutron. Ah. ah, cool. Okay, I like that already. Yeah. So frequency is the uh, frequency of the filter. Surprise. It says surprise in brackets. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're getting slow. Sli- <laughs> the, the guy sits there typing it out. Bored. And I don't know, George Trips or something wrote the manual. Yeah. And the guy he goes, oh, intern, can you type this out? And he's just having a few drinks, getting more and more pissed. Blazed. And he just goes, oh, I can't be anymore. <laughs> just, you know, puts little sarcastic comments into it. Mm. Uh, Q is the width of the filter. Speed is the speed of vibratory pulse modulation again. And mode is the pitch of the synth. Over two octave range. Yeah. Oh, just leave. It was cool where it was. Is that like a fourth or something? Oh, that gets rid of that. Uh, low pass. Yeah, give me a little. That reminds me of the intro to the song I'm not going to mention. I don't know how to play this, but. but yeah, do you know the song? Well, not now, with the weird harmony in it. What? Oh, right. The intro to Weather Report? Yeah. So, what's the song called? Um, I knew another line for something, yeah. What does that do? Was it drive? More like it. And then the bass harmonic things comes in to. Like that. He sure. plays the harmonics on the bass? Oh, yeah. Jarko? Okay. If you did a weather report. But that just reminded me of that. Now we've got copyright infringements. Um, but that sounds cool. Can't quite handle bends and stuff. It's I mean tracking wise. But I mean it's not I think it's more sound design and stuff. Yeah. I, I actually I ha- this is mine. I should know more about it than I do. I don't use it that often. And I have the rack mount too. I don't know if you, you can't see it. No, it's out of shot here. Alice has got the rack mount. I've got a rack mount at home at home too. Um it's cool just to quite often I don't know what I'm doing. You just noodle around and you just kind of go, Oh yeah, that sounds yeah. cool. I do it with the rack too, you just um, plug it in and then start turning stuff. I usually, usually go through presets because on the rack there's nine Lots of presets, yeah, that's presets. what I do usually as well. And then you go through to get something that inspires you and then tweak it, tweak it to. Yeah. Okay. Last one, Q filter. Filter. You've heard it on, you've heard it before on UFO records and from Brian May of Queen. Oh, is it just like a static, like Park yeah. or something like that? Park
Now, if we plug the, in, the expression pedal in, oh, yeah. does it turn into a wah? <laughs> Could the polarity be wrong on that? Is there, there's a polarity switch on the thing, isn't there? Yeah. Or maybe we don't know how to set it up. All right. Forget. <laughs> there was never an expression pedal. Well, that's it. I quite like that. Pretty cool. I really like the one before that. Was it a growler? Ones on there, yeah. What are, just quickly, very quickly, because I know this is a long video and we talk a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what are the presets I had on there? God, that annoys me now. What the song is. Um, it even, it does that little, it has that little, um... Oh, anyway, what's this one? Again, you've got to go. Until your jaw comes off. I'm, until my jaw comes off. Uh, well, that's the, uh, just a quick look, sort of, through the um, FM4, if there's any particular sounds on that, like sp specific algorithms on that, mm. you want us to check out, let us know. Leave it in the comments. Good fun. And we shall do it. But this is just sort of a general overview, quick quick look at, in my opinion, one of the quite a groundbreaking series of pedals for its day. Yeah. The whole four button series, um, all five of them, I think were great. Five four buttons. And still look cool. So there's one more left that we haven't done yet, which is the DL4, Echo. the delay. Yeah, so we're going to check that out soonish. Not today, but soon. Soon. Stay yeah. tuned for that. To wait. And if you hit the notification bell, mm. uh, you'll get notified. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> no, well, then, you know, when a new video comes out, you'll know. And then if you want to see us do the delay one, you'll see it. It'll, you'll get that little ding, ding notification. <laughs> there's also a link below to our Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. Roll. Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. He's slowly, you're slowly rolling I away. Know, I just kind of realised it's leaving, <laughs> leaving on. And um, there's stuff below to our podcast as well. Check it all link, links below. Much appreciated. And yeah, leave comments, questions below. Be bloody awesome. <laughs>